Hello everyone, my name is Grunted here from 01gaming.com and NoobCastGaming.com. It is Friday and I do have a couple bit of gaming news. This is going to be a little bit shorter because it seems to have been a quiet day and nothing really news that I can report on. There's a lot of trailers and photos and such, but it's really hard to talk about photos and trailers, so we'll go with what I found. Assassin's Creed popped up once again, and this time it seems that the PC release date for Assassin's Creed 3 has been announced. This is coming out almost a full month after Assassin's Creed 3 comes out of consoles, November 23rd. This is the same plug that followed Assassin's Creed's Brotherhood when that was released, so it seems that Ubisoft has this trend for releasing these games a little bit later on PC. Well, yeah. What can he do? You know, PC games has this tendency to come out after the fact, and unfortunately, it's not just Ubisoft, it's a lot of other games that do this, and it just happens to be that this is a rather big title. Assassin's Creed 3 is one of the more highly anticipated games of the year, and PC gamers are going to wait almost a whole full month before they're going to be able to play it over their console counterparts. I honestly think that publishers are going to put out such a huge title such as Assassin's Creed should probably get their ducks in a row and try to launch it all at once. Like leaving a sour taste in the mouth of your fans. The other bit of news, and this one's kind of a big one, it seems that Blizzard has been compromised. That's right. You remember talking about this before. Well, here it is again. Blizzard has officially been compromised, and they're willing to admit that's exactly what happened. According to a quote from the company, This week, our security team found an unauthorized and illegal access into our internal network here at Blizzard. We quickly took steps to close off this access and began working with law enforcement and security experts to investigate what happened. They go on to talk about the mobile authenticator and such. We use Secure Remote Password Protocol, SRP, to protect these passwords, which is designed to make it extremely difficult to extract the actual password and also means that each password would have to be deciphered individually. At this time, we found no evidence that financial information such as credit cards, billing addresses, or real names were compromised. Our investigation is ongoing, but so far nothing suggests that these pieces of information have been accessed. And of course, there's always a suggestion that since this compromise has occurred, change your password. Not only that, if you use that password with any other website, change your password there too. <laughs> I do recall at BlizzCon 2011, there was the whole Blizzard, what happens if you get hacked? Blizzard, what happens if you get compromised? Blizzard, what happens if you get hacked? The reply was, oh no, that can't happen, we're impenetrable. Wrong! You are very impenetrable. You have been accessed, you have been breached, you have been hacked, because regardless of how advanced you are, there's always going to be someone more clever than you. And guess what? Someone just proved it to you. So here's an idea. Don't think you're not flawed. Here's the thing. Everything is flawed. That is the way of the world. Everything is flawed. Once you can wrap your little minds around that, then you can realize that even though you're flawed, you can work on those flaws. You went way wrong, and you're lucky that that was the only damage that was done. There could have been a lot more damage that was done to you, Blizzard, because you're egotistical mindset you had regarding your security. Shame on you. And that will do it for me this week. I'll be back on Monday with more gaming news of some variety. Of course, some point over the weekend, probably on Sunday evening, and I do mean late Sunday evening. You'll probably catch one of my streams over at Twitch TV. That's right, twitch.tv slash grethade. If you have any comments about my video, whether they be positive or negative, please leave them in the comment section down below. I would certainly appreciate it. If you liked my news, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on Monday.